hey guys welcome back to a new video and in this video we are going to see how to move our list item position in our recycler view so this is our final project uh, we have some recycler view and if you press long on position 6 and you can move your position you can see here so let's begin our project so first of all we are going to design our list item so for this go to layout click on new layout resource file and just give name list item remove this constraint layout to not card it's card card view and height is 60 dp provide some margin so margin is 5 dp and within our <coughs> card view create a text view uh, both are wrap content and uh, make sure your gravity is center vertical and your style is body one and uh, after that give some padding to it so padding is 10 dp and your text size is 20 sp and uh, just uh, put a random text in order to see the layout so mm, that's why so yes this is fine so just provide an id to it so our id is list item text view so list item text view fine uh, after that create an adapter for our recycler view so just right click new cotton class file class so i'm giving name recycler adapter create a class extend this class with recycler view dot adapter yes adapter uh, i'm simply simple i'm using basically simple adapter so that's why so recycler adapter dot within our recycler adapter we are going to create my view holder class just implement all that methods so control i all three methods just create a a variable list which is a list of strings so basically we are using string not some pose type class and create a function so by using this function we are basically setting our list to the recycler view list so set content list pass a list in it which is type list of strings so strings and after that this dot list is equals to our passing list and notify that our data set change and within our uh, on create view holder before this we we'll create a inner class so inner class my view holder so my view holder pass view to it so view extend this thing with recycler view dot view holder pass this view which we can get which 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 we can pass over here and just simply create a class so within this basically within this class take a reference of our text view so text view is equals to by using this view we actually find our id which is of type text view r dot id dot a list item text view so if you want to access this thing make sure it is well so now it's fine fine after that create our view holder over here so for this i am going to create a variable variable views which is layout inflator from and i am getting context with our parent and now i am simply inflate our resource layout id is r dot layout dot list item and second pass our parent third attached to root no we don't want it and lastly return our my view holder pass our views in it fine this thing is done and now it's time to bind so in this case use our holder dot you can see this text view will appear here so text view dot i am simply set the text of our list item so our list position so what it will do it will simply set the list item position number this data to that particular text and uh, lastly simple return our this dot list dot size 
okay so our recycled adapter will complete go in our activity main.xml file okay so i simply add a recycler view over here nothing typical on this provide the id to recycler view layout manager is linear layout manager width and height are match parent and just create a constraint all of the sites okay so land in our main activity and here the main coding is performed so well recycler view take the recycler view reference by using find view by id and type is recycler view r dot id dot recycler view yes this one and create adapter so simply well adapter is equals to uh, recycler adapter so recycler adapter fine uh, after that what you need to do you need to create a list so i simply create well well list is equals to list of strings and pass position one copy this thing control c just change the position and simply copy the same thing again and again so position four so this is for our position position five position six position seven and position eight okay so i will add eight list item within our list and after that what you need to do use our adapter method set content list and pass the list and just after by using our recycler view adapter we simply set our adapter which we will create over here okay so this is all for our recycler view now it's time to moving our list items so for this you need to create a variable item touch helper so item touch helper yes this one and they create an object of item touch helper within our item touch helper we need to create an object and uh, item touch helper dot simple callback yes and uh, here you need to pass two parameters first is our drag direction and second is our swipe direction so for swipe direction i use zero and for our drag direction we use item touch helper dot you can see here down or we should use item touch helper dot up yes this one and uh, now it's time to create a lambda function and override some methods in it so on move and on swipe so just remove this to do's and here we simply return first of all return true and above this we have target position and we have initial position so first what is our initial position so initial position is our view holder dot adapter position and our final position will provide us so final position will provide our target target dot adapter position so these two are basically recycler view dot view holder which is a uh, within our adapter we simply create my view holder class so that's the thing actually and and now what we need to do we need to use our adapter in order to change this position so first of all i am notify that our position will change so what you do pass over from so from to so from initial to final yes this one and if of this use collection so collections dot use swipe pass our list our initial position which is our initial and your final position so final so that's all you need to do and after that use item touch helper dot attach recycler view attach our recycler view so that's it for our side now it's time to run our application and check whether it is running or not okay so our application will run successfully and uh, you can see here uh, we have one two three four five six actually i move some items so that's why it is not a perfect order so what you do simply long press on position five and you, you can see here we we are able to move this particular list item so that's the thing so this is our final project and uh, if you like my video please subscribe my channel so that i'll provide more videos uh, regarding that particular android developer fundamentals so so this is our video and uh, thank you for watching this thank you